Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms. Here's a question for advanced users about the Nikon D5500 DSLR. This video helps you out. Hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future sessions, unboxings, and tutorials such as this. And don't forget when you're in Miami, come say hello to me at DigitalGoja.com showrooms. Is the buffer on the Nikon D5500 fast enough for fast action sport shooting? Well, yes. And also, you got to take into consideration what's very important is in the speed of your card. Here, I happen to have one of the faster cards that are on the market now for SDXE. It's a 1000X. It's 150 megabytes per second. So, when I place this really fast card in this camera and I go crazy, and move it all the way up to 4000 shutter speed and I switch it to my high speed continuous shooting I can go ahead and this it's not going to slow down it'll go all the way up to five frames per second so I can stop action at any point plus remember you do have the scene selector where you can go ahead and switch it over to, again, your sports mode, and it's going to pick a faster shutter speed, but it's all relevant depending on the ISO and the lighting situation. That's why I like to go on manual and bump it all the way up to one four thousandth of a second at continuous shooting. You should be able to capture any kind of sporting event.